I had to check. It is Thursday, um, September 16th, 2021. I uh, just got back. I, I tried to go for a run. Um, it's a cool morning. Um, a little bit humid. Air quality is okay. Um, like I said, I tried because uh, my left knee is still complaining. So I decided, yeah, I could force it, but no. So I, I actually walked back. Um, I thought about, you know, just, you know, pushing through and going further and then forcing myself to have to, well, since I'm out at the point of no return, well, I have to, it's going to take a while to walk back, so I might as well just jog it, make it faster. I was like, no, I don't have to go that far. I'll just make it worse for myself as far as recovery time. So I should, I should just walk, and I can just turn around now before getting to that point of no I don't have to go to the point of no return. I don't have to. So, unlike many other times, many other days, many other decisions, I actually made the, the decision. I don't know if it was better or worse or whatever, but that's what happened. And I turned around, I stopped, and I turned around, and I walked. And it was okay. And I, uh, I got to see things that I normally wouldn't see if I was jogging or running. Um, moving at a slightly slower pace, um, and I took my time, and I observed, and I watched, and I listened to, uh, you know, everything around me, and just appreciated it. And, you know, took time to, uh, you know, be okay, and uh, do the little things, and, uh, you know, and I didn't see anyone else out there today. There was no one to uh, have to worry over. So I, I felt, you know, very comfortable just being out in the open on a, on a paved, open public trail. Um, but, uh, you know, it is a Thursday, so a lot of people are at work or um, in class, you know, because college is back in session. So. So it was nice when college was out for, I guess, summer, because um, I had the whole campus to myself, all the trails, and I could run around, and it was nice. But now the kids are back, the kids, and uh, young adults or whatever. Am I a young adult still? I don't know. Am I an adult? That's the better question. <laughs> yeah, probably in, in a, yeah. In the strictest sense of the term, yes. Even though I don't like it. I, oh well. Um, I think I'm doing pretty well, though. Better than I used to. Better than I ever have ever done. Better than I ever have ever. What? And at any other point, just from being okay with myself, as I am, whatever that is, um, without feeling like I need to um, constantly define and then defend myself for being who I am and how I am. Uh, people think that they um, are owed um, that sort of clarity and it's like, no, <laughs> no, um, in fact you're not. And in fact you are disrespecting and being discourteous um, towards um, my Self. It's like if I want, if you ask questions, and if I if I can I can answer them, I will. Um, but I don't owe you. Um, I don't owe anyone. I believe that uh, you know I am paid up as far as life. Um, I am at um, terms, in agreement, and uh, a lot of people are so at odds with themselves on their own that uh, they want to undermine and sabotage and cause doubt and uncertainty in other people because they are themselves 
in doubt and uncertainty of who they are and how they are. And uh, they need to, you know, if they see someone else being okay with themselves, they need to plant and disturb and, you know. So, I don't know. I just, I just got get really uncomfortable with that sort of thing. It feels very confrontational and aggressive and domineering and uh, gaslighting. Really, like, just disturbingly so. Um, I didn't like it at all. I do not like that person. I do not like them. I'm sorry. They seemed okay at first, but then they started to, uh, with the uh, entitlement and just the aggression and uh, hostility. And, uh, yeah. So, be a person to, you know, I have to watch it myself and I can't always see it. And it's like, what is that? That narcissism? Um, who is that um, one doctor um, who has the videos about, uh, it's like all the different uh, perspectives on that. I, I know I'm, who am I to say anything? Hello. Um, but uh, narcissism. And you can't really point it out because if you point it out to somebody, well, then you might be like, you know, targeted as, you know, and that's the gaslighting part of it. And it's like really confusing. And uh, it's best to just, because uh, you can't say anything or something. I don't know. But it's in those videos. I'm sure the doctor explains it because she has like, what, hundreds of videos on different versions and types and perspectives on uh, narcissistic behavior and gaslighting. I imagine it's in there a lot too. So, I saw what I saw, and I felt what I felt, and I didn't like it. And uh, I thought it definitely, it did not add to the conversation. It destroyed the conversation, um, you know, in the power that is given to it. It really doesn't have it, but it just, it, it bothers me. Yeah. And it bothers me that it bothers me, because I don't have to. Um, give it any attention more than what it deserves and it doesn't deserve that much I'm sorry hurtful words and maybe it was meant in a sarcastic way but maybe it's me that's reading it wrong but wow that's just I thought it was uh, impolite highly impolite and it wasn't, I mean, and this has nothing to do with me. It's not about me. I just, um, if, I just wouldn't like. I just, all the patience and tolerance and grace and mercy and compassion and sympathy and even maybe a little bit of pity. I don't know. But uh, people are mentally, you know, I, I'm not the... Uh, I'm a couple cents short, uh, a couple cents short of a dollar myself, as far as the whole, um, the gears are turning, gears are turning, and the workings, but, uh, yeah, understanding, and it's like, I'm glad um, that they are where they're at and can do no physical harm, but they can do a lot of psychological harm um, and uh, really get inside and cause, you know, and it's like I try to be careful about that too. That's why I limit my exposure and try to be nice. At least I, I remember in the very early days I wasn't so nice and it's because I didn't really understand. Um, but I think I understand better now, so I'm trying to just be delicate and nice and distant, and I'm trying to be a friend more than anything else, because I can do that. And I can really um, respect and admire and uh, appreciate various qualities. 
without feeling like I need to um, be so possessive. So, because I, I can do that and get possessive and get jealous, and those are not things that I enjoy um, about myself. And it's no one doing it to me or causing it. It's me. It's just me. So, and that's not like, it's not the best qualities. It's like I can understand it, but I don't have to like it. Um, so it's something I can work on. Change. Change from within. And no one can, no one can really show it to me. They can, uh, um, I don't know. It's, it's an inside job. That's what they say about recovery. It's an inside job. And no one can do it for me. I have to do it myself. And, you know, I, I can see, like, you know, from my perspective, I can see this other person. And it's like, wow. How? Hopefully they learn. Hopefully, I don't know. It's going to be, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. And uh, there's not much... I don't think there's much you can say to a person that's going to make it less bad. They want what they want. And unless it's being given to them, they're going to get angry. And uh, it's like, why aren't you giving me what I want? Why aren't you behaving? Why aren't you, why aren't you being who I want you to be for me? Why aren't you doing what I want you to do for me? You should talk to me better. You should be for me better. You're, and it's like, wow, so demanding. <sighs> And, and again, maybe I, I'm reading it wrong, but uh, it's just, it came across as really aggressive, hostile, and sarcastic, and not in a nice or funny way. It, you know, I, I don't, I, I'm not really good at reading um, that kind of stuff, and I might be reading into it completely wrong. But, wow. That was like the, it was nasty. It was very nasty. That's how it read to me. Of course, I'm not, I am completely unaware of the subtext, context, history of conversation. So, and I've already given it too much attention. But it was very distracting. You know, and of course, I didn't have to read it either. So, it's, it's my fault for reading. Um, so, I, I just. I won't read it again, and then I will try to appreciate the work um, for itself and uh, try to just go from there. So I'll um, be able to translate. And uh, not even that my own comments or translations are even needed or necessary or wanted or worthy, um, but I like it. <laughs> and maybe, that, maybe that's. I'm just as guilty, just as fallible, just as incorrect, and you know, and hopefully, whatever it is I do, it's not uh, violating or trespassing or uh, being a nuisance. No, I like writing. I like, uh, and I haven't been told to go away. I haven't been told to stay either. But, because uh, there are things that I can do and uh, things that I am willing to do. And, uh, you know, if I was asked to go away or asked to, you know, told, uh, there are uncomfortable truths and truths I might not want to hear. You know, because I really don't know. And, uh, but I don't think that's the case. I don't think, I think now that I'm behaving a little bit more like a sensible um, person and not so, mm, I'm not, I don't have the most experience or understanding or practice with having feelings and then expressing feelings 
and uh, appreciating um, individuality of how we interact as human beings and uh, the world around us with being sensitive and considerate and appreciative of all the different uh, connections. So I'm still learning all about that. So this is, you know, I don't know. I gave, uh, I thought, at the, you know, the Wednesday night. I'm still patronizing that particular meeting because it's historically, um, I don't know, it needs the help. It really does. So it's one of the ones I've kept for now. And uh, one of the guys, one of the guys in treatment, um, his topic that he came up with was, um, do, I, do I remember the topic? Um, that's a good question. Um, no, I don't. Um, but it did have to do a lot with uh, um, dealing with uh, the unexpected and uh, an acceptance of uh, all the things that uh, we don't have any control over um, and life and uh, people and situations and the environment and uh, not falling apart at the seams at the first um, instance. So being angry, getting angry is not, um, it's not really something I can afford as much. I can get angry and I can get frustrated, but it doesn't help me. But it still feels good sometimes, but I won't digress. I will play with it, though, and uh, fume a bit and uh, consider much. But you know, it's it's playful. That, that, but you know, I don't have to do anything. I can just kind of you know make funny. You know, but I don't know. It's delicate, I guess. And maybe that's where I'm misunderstanding something that I'm seeing is that there's a history of this, and I just don't know about it, and it's. It's a joke. Maybe it's a joke. And I just don't get it because I'm not in on the joke. That's always possible. So, yeah, I have to, that's part of acceptance is getting or understanding or not understanding that uh, I am, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just talking now. But, I feel good about my decision about not running today. I was only out for uh, literally out less than two thirds of a mile, so I didn't. Even, I mean, I didn't make it very far at all, you know. But uh, feel good about you know recognizing um, and acknowledging my own limitations, um, you know, just like with other things, and uh, you know, just despite my own want and willingness just I have limitations and it's like yeah if I need to I can turn around I don't have to um, injure myself um, I don't have anything to prove I have you know a lot to consider but less to prove um, and people can think what they like they can do what they like they can say what they like they can believe what they like but it doesn't change a thing about me you know so I don't have to rush to defend myself. So that feels good. But I still will. I'll forget that in certain instances and moments. Um, but uh, I'm getting better at recognizing and just relaxing and not taking myself so seriously and other people so seriously. It's, it is not easy and I can get lost in other people but uh, I have gotten better so it is something something to work on something yeah. so anyway that's my news for the day and uh, I don't I wish I could say it was good news but 
it's just news. And uh, so that's about how I choose to feel about it, that I, I guess kind of matters. Um, and uh, There's some other things going on that I have no control over, and uh, but I am a participant in, um, somehow, um, on this little, I don't even know, but I don't feel comfortable talking about it, so I'm not going to. It'll turn out how it'll turn out, even though I don't agree, and I, I thoroughly object to the situation, um, but it's not, it wasn't my call, it wasn't my decision, I had nothing to do with it. I'm just being, I can, I just have to kind of comply, and I can cooperate, but I don't have to like it, and it, the situation, it will resolve itself um, fairly quickly, and it won't be, it won't work out, um, well, it'll work out how it's going to work out, but I don't like the pattern that I already see, and because uh, I've seen this pattern before. And it doesn't work out, and uh, it, uh, it results in a lot of, you know, suffering. Not, I mean, for me, it's just, I just get to witness it, and it's like, yep, it's a bad idea. And I know I'm not the only one that sees it either. It's just like, well, they get afforded a chance, just like everybody else gets afforded a chance, and if they mess up, it's like, well, they knew... And it's like, they were told, and they didn't listen. So, you can only give somebody so many chances and warn them so many times. And if they continue to disregard and disrespect, well, I don't know. So, I just don't like it that it's in this facility, house, apartment building. And it's like, I'm directly... Uh, exposed, even if it's a, um, indirect, it's an indirect exposure, it's still an exposure, and it's still on my radar as far as something I have to be aware of and careful about that I don't get, it's like, I can, I just need to be a little bit on guard, a little bit, you know, has been thrown in my direction a little bit, and uh, I can be a little bit upset about that, because, but, you know, that's always going to happen when I'm living in this sort of environment, so I don't get to choose my neighbors, that's the thing, I don't get to choose my neighbors, but in any place, wherever you live, you know, you don't really get to choose your neighbors, you know, unless you have, like, a lot of property, and then you can have, like, a distance between neighbors. But even then, you still have neighbors. So anyway, now I'm really off the rails. So.